Egg freezing is the fastest growing fertility treatment in the UK. It allows women to slow their biological clocks by preserving their fertility. Its rising popularity is levelling the playing field between men and women. However, British law currently puts a 10-year limit on the length of time that these women can store their eggs. But women are fighting back. They say that this arbitrary law discriminates against them. Yet another deadline that's placed upon women. I paid for these. Why do I have to put more money in to then send them somewhere else? It's forcing them to make a difficult decision. To start a family before they're ready, or miss the chance of ever becoming biological mothers. Unlike medical fertility treatment, social egg freezing is a choice that women make because they're not yet ready to have children. They're likely to be single women who haven't found the right partner or who aren't financially or emotionally ready to start a family. It's these women who face the 10 year limit. Social egg freezing should be a practice that empowers women, but UK fertility law actually works against this by curtailing women's reproductive rights. So what does this law mean? Who does it affect? And what is being done to stop it? I visited IVI Fertility Clinic to meet with reproductive scientist Eleanor Galagos and understand the science behind the 10 year limit. So since the 10 year limit was introduced, the technology that we use to freeze eggs has improved enormously. So this means that su the survival rate for eggs is a lot higher than it was back in 1990. Additionally, when eggs are frozen, they're frozen at minus 196 degrees Celsius and they're kept in liquid nitrogen. So this completely halts the development of the egg. So biologically, they're just kept in the same state. So there's really no evidence that the eggs will decline in quality. British fertility law risks incentivising women to freeze their eggs later. And we actually know that most women who freeze their eggs here in the UK are over the age of 35, with many of them in their 40s. But we also know that by that time, women's eggs have rapidly declined in quality, alongside their chances of becoming biological mothers. So at IVI, we really recommend that the younger the better when it comes to egg freezing. This is because a younger woman is going to have a lot more eggs than an older woman, but not only this, the eggs that she has will be of a higher quality. So this means there'll be a higher chance of the woman going on to have a healthy baby from these eggs. Um, but, you know, with the 10 year limit, she'll face a dilemma. Egg freezing should not be used as an insurance policy. In fact, even women in their 20s who are at their most fertile will be lucky to collect 20 eggs from one round of egg collection. But statistics show that these 20 eggs will likely only result in one live birth. But of course, after all of this, if women don't use these precious eggs after 10 years, then the current fertility law says that they have to be binned. The Extend the Limit campaign is working to change this law. They're calling on the UK government to give women more choice around when they can use their eggs. Sarah Norcross spearheads the campaign. She says that the law is in urgent need of being updated. Otherwise, for some women, it will be too late. The law is always a slow beast in this area and it's always catching up with the science. And so this is why we're sort of very keen to make this message heard by government because they need to update the act so that it's not penalising women who are trying to improve their reproductive choices in the future years. So what options do these women have? To fertilise their eggs and create embryos? To move their eggs to a country without these storage limits? Or let them be destroyed? Carolyn froze her eggs in 2010, which meant that earlier this year she reached her storage limit. She wanted the choice to use her eggs in the future, so she decided to move them to Spain. But the process wasn't easy. Moving the eggs was not straightforward, mainly because it was really hard to find a clinic that would take them. Most clinics would only take them if you were willing to fly to the country, have an initial appointment and start fertility treatment with them immediately. Having invested a lot, both emotionally and financially, women like Carolyn are frustrated by the 10-year limit. 
But moving Harags abroad was a means of taking back control. The idea that I was going to lose all of these eggs I'd spent 10 grand on freezing um, because of an arbitrary law annoyed me. And I thought, you never know what the future holds. And as much as I'm probably not going to use them, I'm going to just move them anyway because it's possible and why not? Valerie's an American egg freezing expert and activist. She's chosen to undergo social egg retrieval three times, each round involving two weeks of self-administered hormonal injections. She advocates for how empowering the process can be. America doesn't impose any social egg freezing storage limits. So she's devastated that women in the UK face such oppressive restrictions and thinks it's time that Britain caught up. It's essentially a tease. The 10 year limit is a one big tease because here you've frozen your eggs and you have this potential for the future, but now we're taking it away from you because 10 years went by and you didn't make a choice. So it's really, it, it, 10 years is not enough and there should be no time limit. It, it's, it's ridiculous that we put any kind of time limit on it. The Extend the Limit campaign has played a really important role in putting egg storage limits on the public agenda. In fact, it was only in May this year that the government launched the public consultation to discuss a possible extension of that 10 year limit. But of course, these talks have been put on hold as a result of coronavirus. Baroness Ruth Deitch has been talking in Parliament on behalf of the campaign. I've introduced a private member's bill into Parliament. I've persuaded the Department of Health to consult on this. And all of those who are interested are waiting anxiously for the Department to come forward with an answer. And we need all to urge the government to get on with this and extend the limit. There's no reason why they shouldn't. For now, it's a waiting game to hear the result of the consultation. But with 2020 seeing a peak in popularity in social egg freezing, the 10 year limit is negatively affecting more women now than ever before. Experts and activists say it's vital that the limit's extended so that less women are left disappointed in the future. If Matt Hancock believes in reproductive choice for women, he changed the 10 year limit now to give women better options. When it's frozen, it stops the clock. So why are we putting a time limit on the clock? There's every reason based on compassion, health and equality why they should extend that limit and do it sooner.